right, my name's Lauren Brandt, and I've uh, chosen to, to not be simple and to complicate things. And uh, instead of doing one technology, like a cell phone or an iPad, or even a software, I decided to do a concept that had to do with uh, something that I think is going to be increasingly important as students start to bring a multitude of different devices. Uh, we can't guarantee that they're always going to bring the same device uh, to the same class different different days if you were to do a one-to-one -one class. Uh, sometimes they might bring a phone, sometimes they have a phone but they want to use their iPad. So the students may bring their computer, they may bring their uh, iPad, they may have their phone, they may have all three, they may have uh, only one, uh, but they're going to have to learn how to stay organized uh, using a, a, a cloud uh, storage and they can do that by using different uh, programs. One is called Mnemonic, one is called SpringPad, one is called Evernote. I don't know too much about SpringPad. Um, they do share some things, and I'll get into that later on. Uh, same with Mnemonic. There's some similarities. But the whole purpose of this is so that they can start to, let's say a student doesn't, uh, can't write down everything fast enough, so they take a photograph of this, and then they can send it to themselves. I'm going to show you my uh, iPad screen right now. You'll see that I have the apps downloaded. One is the Evernote. One is the SpringPad and one is the mnemonic and over here to the left you'll see that only one of these has a client version one that you can download everything else is more web based and, and online this one actually has a program that you can download and it looks very similar to what you see at the screen so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna see what Evernote has and Evernote actually has these things called notebooks and they're digital notebooks and you can see that I've kinda made some of these up but I think it would work out. We've got the uh, personal. Let's say I wanted to keep up with uh, cool restaurants. My um, uh, personal I was a, like a shopping list, gift ideas, tax receipts, vacation to-do list. We're going to close that notebook, and we're going to open up the uh, school, uh, which means that if I were an average student at school, uh, I would have an art history class, a biology class, maybe an English class, and it would be neat to keep all of those notes separate. Um, in there, biology, English, and this is actually what I'm doing. I'm trying to do my best to stay organized with my Winthrop stuff, and so I've got a lot of information that I'm combining for my uh, white paper uh, for this class in here. You'll see that this looks like a word processor. This word processor um, allows me to create notes, and I can email them to my uh, to friends. Let's say I'm, I'm working with other students. So if I were to start typing over here, something like uh, this is the best note in the whoop, the entire world, and I can add tags to this. This tag would be, um, let's say, good note. Um, I could actually add another tag to this too. And a tag is a way of just kind of creating a common variable or common keyword among all of your different things so that later on, over here on the left-hand side of my screen, you'll see I'm um, opening and closing. If I wanted to just come over here and say, yeah, let's, everything that has to do with the beach, I'm going to click on that, and you'll see that I have, uh, I would have some notes over there, or at least I started some tags that had uh, the word beach over there. Okay, so now we're going to close this and we're going to go over to see how some of these other applications actually compare. So we're going to open up, let's uh, go to Mnemonic first, and that looks pretty similar. You can see that I can write a note and the folders look uh, about the same, same structure. Uh, with that, I can write a note and I have different options. I can use the camera if I wanted to. I can back out of there and uh, I can change that and I can even share if I wanted to in that. Spring pad, if I were to go to spring pad, uh, same idea with that except these I can stylize them a little bit more and uh, use like uh, make each notebook a different color in case I want to uh, for quick recall or, or if I just want to be a little bit more creative in my life. And you'll see over here on the left I can also create different math classes and, and all of that. It is. It was neat to me to figure out that um, uh, only Evernote was really dedicated to education. Uh, Mnemonic seems to be more corporate, and uh, so does SpringPad. And uh, SpringPad uses Evernote. Now we're going to go to my phone. I'm going to turn on my phone here, 
Uh, you'll see that these are the um, these are the apps for my uh, Verizon Android uh, system here, and I'm gonna open up uh, Evernote to see what that looks like. Hopefully, and you'll see that uh, this kind of makes sense over here. Um, kind of the same structure, same everything, and uh, looks like I'm using 66% of this allowance. Um, take a picture, take that, uh, record audio, and uh, and do that. I can swipe left just by swiping that over to the left. Uh, you'll see that it's uh, the same notebook structure with that uh, for there. And you see that it's at 1017 right now. So I'm going to swipe left again and refresh this screen so you can see what my phone looks like. And we'll close this out. And now that I'm done with that, we'll close that out. And it is also neat. Uh, real quickly, I don't have that much time left. I'm going to open up Google Chrome and let you see how it seems like Evernote is becoming the common uh, with everybody. Uh, everybody seems to be associating, creating uh, uh, add-ons and extensions. See, you saw what the client version has. Now let's look at what the online version has. And if I open this up, it looks very similar to what I said before. And um, and so regardless of where I am, I can always take notes and I can try to stay organized with that. Uh, sorry for this taking so long, but hopefully you'll get a good idea of what is what what this is all about.